This video will demonstrate how to create a parent account and get started with Schoology. In the URL field here at the top, type Schoology.com. You'll land on this PowerSchool page. Look for the blue Schoology bar and click on Register. On this screen, choose Parent. You should have received a parent access code in an email from the school, from your student's teacher, or at a school event. Type that code here and click Continue. Complete the information on this screen and then click Register. Make sure to record your login information for future reference. Note that a parent account can be created for each parent and if needed for another adult who might be assisting with a child's schooling. Each adult must use a different email to create their Schoology accounts, but each adult will use the same parent access code. Once you are logged in, in the upper right corner, you will most likely see the name of one of your children. Click on the down arrow to toggle back and forth between your parent account and your student accounts. If you have more than one child enrolled at any of our schools, click the Add Child link. In this little pop-up window, type the code for the second child and then use code. Continue until all your children are connected to your parent account. All of your students, no matter which campus they attend, will be listed here, so you can easily switch back and forth between your parent account and those of each of your children. Below this, you will see links to the school or schools in which your students are enrolled. Make sure all of your children's schools are listed so you don't miss important information from any of their schools. If a school is missing, please contact your school and request that your parent account be connected to that school. Some things to keep in mind. First of all, some Schoology content is primarily for parents, including updates in this area. To assure that you see this content, make sure the parent name is displayed here in the upper right corner. When the parent name is displayed, you can also access any courses or groups in which you are enrolled. Not all parents are enrolled in courses or groups, but if you have students in grades TK to 2, you, the parent, will be enrolled in the track A, B, or C course for that student. Click on the courses link here to view all the courses in which you are enrolled. At some campuses, parents may be enrolled in a parent group. That would be listed here in this groups link. When the name of one of your children is displayed here in this upper right corner, you can view upcoming events, assignments, and other content for that child. You will see a banner displayed here to remind you that you are viewing the uh, Schoology as that child. It's really important to remember that when you see this banner, the student is not logged in. The parent is logged in, but is viewing student content. content. So the view is similar, almost identical in fact, to the student view, but if the student is asked to submit an assignment online or to take a quiz online, she will not be able to do so while logged into the parent account. Let's click on this course title to open the course. Here's Unit 1. Look at this screen where I'm logged in as the parent. Now look at this screen where I'm logged in as a student. They are very similar. However, here when I'm logged in as a parent, I click on the sci uh, science quiz title and I get to the home page, but there's no start button available. On this screen, logged in as a student, when I click on the science quiz title, it opens the home page, but I have a start button available. If you ever find that your student cannot take a quiz or submit an assignment, it's likely due to the parent being logged in rather than the student. Please log out of the parent account and log in with the student account. To learn more about Schoology, check out the additional videos linked in the description below.